Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be going over the best spawn design in the game of oxygen not included. Hands down, this is the best self-powered oxygen machine that you could make. And the reasons why is because this is what you call a natural filter. Where you don't need to wait for a pressure design. You don't need to wait for pressure to accumulate all you need to do is do this design and the gases auto separate and what we're doing is actually utilizing how some of the mechanics of the electrolyzer works but before we get into that this is the submerged electrolyzer build now the benefits to it as you guys can see in the gas overlay there is infinite gas pressure as you can see there it's at 11 kilograms at the bottom 2,000 grams up top, and there is no pressure limit, meaning that you can let your electrolyzers run as long as you need to. You use a little bit of water, you use a lot of the water, stockpile the hydrogen, stockpile the oxygen, it doesn't matter what you want to do. You just need to do the design, and the design will work as shown. Now, other thing about it is that it also has the natural filter. That's because, if you guys didn't know, when the electrolyzer gases spawns on these two tiles, it spawns oxygen and hydrogen next to each other. And because we have liquids there, it displaces the gases accordingly. So it will displace the hydrogen vertically and then the oxygen to the left. Now, because of how it can work, if your setup is a little bit different, you could actually flip the gases. But... This is the submerged design. Now, for the most part, I will get into how to set it up and how to make it so that it's easy to set up. So to get it started, normally what you're going to want to do is make a vacuum. We'll show you how that looks like in a second. And we're going to get into the liquid volumes first. So one thing for this to work is you need to have two liquids because you're submerging your electrolyzer without flooding it. And one of the things to think about is you're either going to do one full bottle or 200 kilograms of two separate liquids. In our case, it's brine. As you can see, it's around 50 to 100 and 150 to 100. That's because the gas is moving around, causes the liquid to displace. But for the most part, it's 200 kilograms total on both titles. So it's about 100 each. And on the bottom, you could use another liquid as well. Uh, I would just try not to use brine and salt water as they're very similar in density, which would cause some flip-flop, and that kind of hurts the design. But any other liquid you would put a full bottle of, except crude oil. Crude oil, because it's the heaviest liquid, has a couple of issues with how they flood buildings, and a lower volume of crude oil will flood your building faster. I only spilled around 5 kilograms in total of crude oil, I might have went over to six, but as you can tell, you don't want that much crude oil. And then on the layer up top, 200 kilograms. Now, to get it started, what you're going to want to do is vacuum this box shape. Of course, you could repeat the design, as you can see right here, for each electrolyzer you want to add on. We are only going to have two over here, but you can see that's the design you would want to set up so that the electrolyzer has a nice time. But we'll show you how to prime it up and how it looks like. So... Here is the setup of what you're going to want to build. I have two liquid locks. You're going to need a liquid lock for the top level and bottom level. I typically wait until I fill the vacuum up purposely because I don't know if the hydrogen is going to be up top or at the bottom. And it's somewhat random, but for the most part, you want to build a vacuum like this. As you see, there is no gases in here. Do the design and then you're going to want to fill up the liquids. So it's uh, 100 kilograms each tile. And then we have about 6 kilograms spilled over the two tiles. So it's about 3 kilograms each. And that's a setup. Now, immediately after that, you want to get the water pipes in. You don't need to actually fill it up all the way. And then I just have a hamster wheel powering a small battery. And then we just connect to that. So what I do is I bring up the gas overlay. Pause the game. And we plug it in. And because with the gas overlay, once we plug it in, you could see that. 
bam, the gases will fill out accordingly. And in my case, my hydrogen's up top again. And then while you do this, once the gases are in the respective top and bottom, it should auto filter every time after that. It's the initial process of splitting the gases that can cause headaches. I recommend saving right before doing this so that if you do have any issues with uh, mixed tanks, mixed gases, you could try to reload again and try. In most cases though, it, you should not have issues as this is uh, pretty easy. You just could see we just put in the power, didn't do anything special and it auto separated. Now, of course, power goes out and we let this uh, stay off and then we would come in and put the pumps in accordingly. But of course, that has been how to make the best spawn design, the submerged spawn. Uh, you saw earlier how it was running. But of course, guys, if you guys have any questions about this build, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.